There we go. Ahoy, everyone. Welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... This is Mike, the Lieutenant Rocky of Akia Samus. <laughs> and I'm hoping that the audio from the game isn't too loud. It is a bit on my end, but luckily I've put in well, a limiter on the audio, so it shouldn't be too loud on stream. But yeah, what? welcome to... Go ahead. What? <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Showcase Sunday number 109. Uh, for anyone new, what we do with Showcase Sunday is we take a, a group of games, try each of them out for about half an hour, less if we just do not like them or something does not work, of course. And yeah, we judge if they'd be any good for streaming in full some other time. Uh, whether. <clears throat> uh, though, I. Yeah. I do avoid some games like multiplayer only uh, PvP stuff and such, uh, but yeah. <clears throat> in, either, in either case, the first game that we'll be trying today is Revenge of the Titans, which has a link to another game that we have showcased a good while back, Welcome to Basingstoke, which I th think I put under B in the alphabetical order instead of the W. <laughs> And yeah, the game was made by the same developers and well, this game is also a sequel to another game called Titan Attacks. The developer of these games is Poppy Games and apparently, according to their Wikipedia page, they consider so themselves a neo-arcade development company. Also, it seems to be something wrong with my avatar for a sec, so give me a moment on that. Oh dear. Yeah, this is not your supreme overlord trying to talk to you, folks. <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, yeah. Easy campaign? Okay. Endless mode, survival mode, and a sandbox mode. Okay. I don't know if this was here before, but I do know that this game is at least... It, it came out in 2010, 2013 somewhere, so it's, <laughs> it's a 10 year old game, so... I'm guessing this was already here the last time I played this ages ago. Either way though, let's give the campaign a try. And well... Bouncing stoke. <laughs> okay, give me a sec, the music is getting... There, that should do better I think. Okay, mostly doing that for my own end there. So, campaign, Earth... And starting the timer. Let's see. Incoming message, Titans approaching. Assistance required immediately. Yeah, urgently, ground attack imminent. The invasion has landed. Okay. Blaster turrets. <laughs> A formation of vile Titans come are approaching from the north. Build your blaster turrets between us and them. Uh, yeah, basically. There isn't too much story to this game, I believe, since it's involved Neo Arcade, and arcade games literally don't have too much story. Uh, but basically, in the first game, Titan Attacks, well, aliens from Titan were trying to invade from, a, well, from with spaceships, but now they've, <laughs> they've managed to snuck past, and have already got the ground invasion going through portals, I believe, or something. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh. Let's see. Don't build your blast turret directly in front of the advancing aliens. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> this game is one is a the a tower defense game. And if I remember correctly, they will follow the <clears throat> the roads. They're, they're just uh, <laughs> they're just polite like that. Okay. Okay, collect special power-ups and save them for when they need them. Okay. That's it. Uh, oh, they got killed the moment they appeared on screen. <laughs> okay. It is, the, it is the first mission after all. Hmm. <laughs> We need more money for the war effort. Our R&D eggheads recommend we invest our research budget on refineries to extract wealth from those nearby mineral deposits. 
Okay, welcome to the Research Lab. Choose the technology to research that will aid you in the next level. R&D suggests you choose refineries first. Let's see, where are those then? Droid factory, tank factory, capacitor, decoy. Uh, ah, there. It's it's already been chosen. From... Yep. No, now it's been chosen. <laughs> Building the war effort is key to our success. Make sure you build plenty of refineries. Okay. And there's one of those crystals. So we put one right next to it right away. Actually, let's do... Four. And then put down some turrets. Okay. Don't want it to be too close to the roads. There. And there they come. Okay, they'll follow the general outline of the roads, it looks like. I'll take that. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, the fact that they don't follow a two-set path makes things a little bit more interesting, you could say, but that you'd have to, well, keep in mind <laughs> that they'd be traveling a much wider road. Gidrus, Gidrus. Let's see. We have analyzed the corpses of some of these slain titans and gained much valuable information on their vital statistics. Okay, so we have the basic grunts, which have two more hit points, no armor, strength of four, and they can go from 15 to 45 <laughs> miles per hour, and they weigh 30 tons each. So yeah, I think you can see why they're called titans. Yeah! Let's see, scanner using radar and image for early alien detection, basic energy storage, cooling systems to improve turret firing rate, okay, and concrete barriers. Okay, those, those <laughs> walls are always good in tower defense games to uh, help funnel enemies through certain lanes. These would be really useful, so let's pick those. Okay, those brain boxes have developed a simple yet... Yeah, they tell me, though, that concrete doesn't grow on trees. With some such nonsense, we can only crease a few... Okay, so... It... Okay, these are more for normal walls, like putting them around the base for defense instead of funneling them through. Okay. Okay, that'll have to do. Hmm. Mm. Once the timer bar on the right empties, the Titans will become more angry. Try to mine all of the crystals quickly. Okay. Uh, okay, there. I'll take that. Okay, an anger bar for enemies in this sort of game. That's not something I've heard of too many times. I don't think I've ever heard of it before at all, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's a bit hard to do when we don't know what path they're specifically going to do and take. Okay, new rank. Okay. Gidrus Gigantus. Okay. Yeah, just bigger versions. Now, let's see. Really? Extra coffee delivery? <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that means you start off with more funds at the start or something. Uh, let's see. Bigger gun, bigger gun. Well, there's a heavy blaster. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, less ammo, but more firepower. Okay. Uh, there. Hmm. Yeah, this, this game has some mechanics that I didn't expect oh, or remember. I didn't many. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so there's a maximum that each on that can be on those. Okay. Let's put these a bit wide. Actually, I think we could probably put a few in the middle here for the moment. I'll take that. What are you having it? Yep, now they're getting angry. That's a big one. Okay, still can be taken down. Hmm. Okay, we can tell them to reload by clicking on them. Okay. <laughs> Oculus Triplodocus. Mm -hmm. New Titan. Slower but tougher. Okay. They have five strength, ten plus hit points, but yeah, they are a lot slower. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh, oh plus weapon range. Okay, because a lot of tower games have this as well, where there's support buildings. That you okay. Let's quickly put some of these down. And... It's only four. Yeah, only four, even though it still shows the line when you're trying to put down another one. Okay, let's do this as the last level for this. I think we've got the gist of this. You say that and you then you do a lot of mistakes right away. Now like we know what we know how this game is mostly going to be playing out like this. Okay. Got to hold them back from the resources. And here comes one of those triple-eyed ones. I'll take that. Okay, those got a bit too close. Okay. I do like that they show the health in the brackets around. Yeah. Andy. Wait, and that so those sound like from Mega Man? Yeah, maybe it's, they sound a bit like that, maybe. It's yeah, from Mega Man, I mean the old ones. <laughs> hmm. I was more expecting slash hoping for an item that would show us uh, sure lines of where they actually go, but extra range is also useful. Okay. And that's well, that. How sound of the Oxygen Starcraft? Okay. <laughs> Oculus Rex 36 plus. Okay, that's a <laughs> that is a big one. Okay. But yeah. A nice little game. I think it is mostly well uh, thought of, but I don't think it'd be much interest for us to uh, stream since, well, it's mostly just base building and just a chatter between the character, you know, yeah, chatter from the characters in between. And I'm pretty sure you can also just screw yourself over if you pick the wrong upgrades to get. Yeah. Uh, interesting game, but not streamable. It yeah. is not for our uh, Twitch streams. 
checking it. Also, I've decided to just put the games that were to stream you know, during these over here for people who want to, well, see what's coming ahead. And plus, so it's easier for me to read, <laughs> to read which games we have and haven't uh, done. Because we, I can't always fit the titles of every game in the uh, YouTube title. And yeah, this next one... Uh, <clears throat> This one is run through uh, a fan thing. Yep. <clears throat> a claim. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, the audio is supposed to be missing here, and yeah, this is oh. Revolt, or at least uh, a uh, version that was basically slapped back together by fans to work with modern systems because I got the original Revolt to work but it took quite a bit of finessing so it was a lot easier to get this one started <laughs> so yeah for people who don't know Revolt is a little uh, yeah, arcade <laughs> racer or you could also go for these let's see full speed symbol car collision full speed symbol collision and you could even go for simulation. <laughs> and yeah, the things we'll be racing with, well, are RC cars. <laughs> so, let's take a bit of a look here. I'll take this one, Colonel Moss. Yeah. And we can we can have a run in the in the in the neighborhood for this. Okay. Uh, uh, arrow key controls. I forgot about that for a second. This is an old, old game like the 90s. Yeah. It was smooth for them how actual uh, radio cars would work most of the time. Yep. Uh, and I've owned one of those before, and those things <laughs> are, can be finicky as all fuck, even the big ones. Yeah, the more annoying is, if you're just alone, that'd be wrong, fine. Hopefully it's when you try to race with Ew. someone. This sometimes means that there is... You may get confused and people... Controllers... They control both cars, or they want the biggest controller to control everyone's car. By accident and all that. Ew. And I speak for experience, we have tried to do... These kind of small race player uh, things, I was younger as a kid a lot, of, but we sort of gave up on it. <laughs> Ladies gentlemen, the most popular one which we owned just crushed everyone else's and uh, yes, hijacked everyone else's control. <laughs> and that was because, well, apparently it, it can't have so much power, it somehow was able to control all three cars. Yep. That was a mistake. Oh, yeah. Oop, I think mess. we got someone still. <laughs> and yeah, it's very obvious the Mario Kart like power ups and such that you can use to screw with everyone. <laughs> and since these are RC cars which weigh practically nothing out, you can get thrown about like that. Uh, there is a key to flip over. I'm, I remember that. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, no, if actually scaled miles per hour, let's put that at least. Uh, controller. Uh, let's see. Yeah, flip car and button. Yeah, this this is again one of those games. You, yeah, hello. Yeah. Uh, okay. Getting someone showing me a picture. Oh. See that? Yes. Yeah. And I did. Okay. Can you die straks for me? Maybe send a send a naar. Yeah. I can you via can you via WhatsApp na mij sturen? Dan kan ik die. Ik kan hem daar op een afhalen denk ik. Ja. Okay. 
Okay, my my father walking in with a photo of uh, his keyboard, uh, which one of our cats is laying, well, not entirely on top of, but right behind. And behind, right behind that is his monitor, which is showing the, <laughs> the Talos principle, which has the very same thing showing there with, in the game, a keyboard with a cat behind it. Just <laughs> keyboard cat's inception. Oh, good God. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Uh, okay. no right. uh, like I was going to say, this game is from the time when people were expected to read uh, were expected to read the manual. And Yeah. As you can see, uh, madness can ensue. I don't, I don't wanna do they still sell these kind of cars? Uh, Probably not these models, but similar pipes and such, probably, yeah. Yeah, so... I think, remember, last time I went to a toy store, which was a sort of uh, whammer, that's why I had to do a toy store. I don't think I saw any race cars. At least not the ones with controllers. Okay. So before that, when I went there... Uh, actually, yeah, the early time I went there, uh, I think I saw some. And each time I went there, uh, there was always packed but it didn't seem like it was selling. Okay. So I think I heard that there has been some uh, cars that the unique acquire. You guessed it. A bloody hell. <laughs> I know that that's the absolute least that, Ma that there's no Mario Kart RC cars and such that you can get. <laughs> Yes, hope you don't need an app for those. Okay. Let's do one more. Oh, wait. Just sending this to the next one. Also, Let's go to the supermarket. For people who've watched us for a while and know me, they probably know already what I'm going to say about this game. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's a nice little... Oh. See that... Uh... Did you see that the uh, the antenna of one of the cars there was sparkling? That's the, because they got an up. That is it. The, they got the, the bomb power, which will will blow up whoever <laughs> has been left holding that. Oh! Yep, damn. <laughs> okay. Now I have it. Uh -oh. Okay, now I just need I need to hit someone before I go boom, which uh, well looks like it's not going to happen. <laughs> and yes, that is why I exploded a bit back. Okay, but yeah, overall, uh, nice to see that a, an old little game like this too. Still has enough fans to actually get it to be well made to work. Still in these days, and as it's very obvious, I'm not that good with this game. Uh, I, I'm so that modern radio cars like these will not have to interfere with each other. I don't think. Yeah, I think they s normally have their own little frequency per model or something. I hope they do now. For that was the problem, as I said earlier. Back then, that was a problem when we yeah. when we as kids tried to race with our cars. <laughs> for they use like especially with the <laughs> biggest controller, we somehow ended up controlling all the cars. <laughs> yeah, that would be uh, absolute mayhem. So let's move over oh, to was, game number three. It was really mayhem. It, 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 it was chaos. And we were <laughs> unable... Every time we tried to race cars, it was always... It, it was controlled to hijack each other's cars and whatnot. <laughs> Hello it's again, Tequila work. Works. <laughs> uh, what? And we just finished the Sexy Brutale made by them. Okay. Why? I think I can see this recommended, but I haven't watched this game. Mm. 
<clears throat> Let's see. I've only tested this game to see if it works with OBS, so I don't have much of an idea of what is actually going to go on with this. There we go. A bit better of a loading screen, I'd say there, or at least more interesting than just a plain bar. But uh, yeah, Rhyme. Let's get started and see what this is all about. <laughs> One point zero four. All right. Either new or didn't need have much updates. Yeah, I think this is an older uh, one. Okay, the heck. Just a big old storm. Yep, oh, hello. Okay, it was waiting for input there. Looks nice. Very shell shaded. Yeah, it's well. For seeing how old it is, you uh, said. I'm not sure how old it is, but reasonably old, I presume. A, a few yeah. years at the absolute least. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not sure when I started to see. I think I saw started to see you just start playing it late. Like just a full hmm. pandemic or something. Okay, we have a jump, we have a roll. Okay. So what are we to do then? Just go explore and see what we can find? Hmm. A big old vase up there. There. What is this? He can't seem to interact with it. Oh. Uh. Heal! You, you startled the urn! <laughs> okay, apparently our carrot can shout long enough to break those. So, Kiko! <laughs> that long lost friend of yours? Another one! Bert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. I guess we're supposed to try and get through that tower, but we can look around a little bit as well. Oh, hello, there's something to interact with, I think. What is this? <laughs> a little barbecue? Hey! Okay. Okay, musical seashell. Yeah, I'm guessing we need to go to that tower since, well, it's the literal logo of the game. Hmm. Are these shells required, though? I would not be surprised. Let's, mm. Let's try and make our way down at a reasonable pace, not the expressway, which is likely to shatter our character's knees into fine dust. Paste or dust? Make up your mind. <laughs> uh, why not both? Oh dear. Tickles! Ah! Let's see, can we swim? Yes, we can. Okay. It's always good to know whether a character can swim or not, because there are actually quite a lot of people in the world who don't know how to swim. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and I think that numbers has been growing. Yeah. 
Yep, we're on the path that the game intends now. It's a big keyhole. I hope we don't have to find the key that fits it. Hmm. I'm getting the feeling that this game is supposed to be a bit like a journey and such. It's more about the, perhaps about the visuals and such. What the heck is this? Some sort of kitsune rabbit or something? What a fox. Hmm. Little pig there. Okay, okay, these are big ones. Uh, you want this? Okay. Yeah. Wait. I, I see. I see what's going on. They can't get close because of the brambles. Hold up. Those are piglets. Wild bull piglets. Hmm. Let's see if anything happens if we offer these up to the statues. Oh, and Helen is unaware why I am worried. And where there's more piglets, there's more mothers. Yeah. And boar mm. mothers are very well known to be... Just like any wild animal mother to be, but, well, m majority of them to be... Very, Cranky. very aggressive when you are with the kids. Yeah. Without their permission, which is usually not given. <laughs> which is usually permanent. Speaking of... Um... She's, um... Big. <laughs> and... Beefy. Don't anger... And there's more? Oh, wait. If... <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly we become a big parade. Oh, there, no question is... Is that the dad? Or the mother. <laughs> okay. Ah. So, hmm. What is this? Jade or something? Very shiny, at least. Hi. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Okay, this one turns to stone, and I'm guessing one in the middle is going to become... Well, a lot less uh, stone-like then. Hmm. I can still follow the trail. And there it goes. One of four. Three more to go for whatever this puzzle is. Yeah, but, hmm. okay. I am curious of this game more and more. However... We have had zero dialogue. I think that's supposed to be the point. Like this is where yeah. a more chill game, similar to Journey and such. Let's see. I saw a beam of light coming out of this one, so I'm guessing the others will have those as well, like there. All right, so, okay. If we do say yes to this one, it would probably be one of those Sunday chill games. Probably. Let's see that way. Let's not fall down that way. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, tequila Works has quite the varied uh, portfolio, doesn't it? Yeah, huh? Or don't they? But they do put dedication into the games. Like. Actually, yeah. yeah they, they, they vary them. But they all have very good story, as far as I know. Yeah. This like one is deadlights, the only one I... Sexy Brutale. No, this one is the only one I'm debating on the story parts. Yeah, I, we'll get, we'll probably get revealed more of what this world is all about. So, hello. Yep. Okay, I was talking about Journey, and that looks very much like the character from Journey. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to find out what's up with this world as 
though probably more through uh, background lore and such that we can find around in the world. Does have it explicitly told to us, perhaps? That's number three. Hmm. Could probably jump down to the water, but at this height, that would be like impacting solid concrete. Yeah, and not making. Really... Yeah, not making implement that. Yeah, you can. You can soften the blow a lot by uh, making your surface area as small as possible when you impact, like you see with the professional divers and such. Uh, but most games don't do that. So in most games, characters should <laughs> splat on impact when they jump from high yeah. heights into water. Yeah, do, be, do be one people that that method even has limits. But there is a certain point when you try to do that, you end up just shattering your legs or arms. Or head. Yeah. There we go. And there was one of more yeah, one more of those conch shells on a platform behind us there. I'm not sure how we can reach that. Oh, through here probably. Hmm. And there's another one over there. Or, oh no, not a conch shell. This, what is this? Okay. A fragment of a seal of sorts? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> if there is fall damage, that wasn't lethal at least. Uh, let's see. We'd have to go around to get to that one. But let's try and find that fourth fox statue. It's, well... What direction was that again that I saw the lights? Oh, that way. Hello, Piggy. Did not expect there to be a day and night cycle in this game. Hope that doesn't make it a, a soft time limit or such, though. I'm presuming nothing too dangerous is going to come out during the nights. Hello there, journeyman. Or woman. Most day games would have day and night cycle nowadays. They do, don't have any time limits per se. Most of the more immersion. Hmm. There has to be a a shore, a lower shore on one of these here. Or just an entry under the water. Okay. Also, nice little markings to show where you can climb up stuff with the the wear on their stones, and they're gone. Okay, that's four of four. Okay. Nice little uh, tutorial where it just shows you the button and you find out what it happens right after. Not, no need to just have a, an entire booklet of explanations of what does what and such. Now, is this going to do something with all four of those activated, I guess? Hmm. Or is there another one that needs to be found or something? Oh, wait. Good job. No, we need to shout at it as well. Hello there. Yeah, but I was doing something up there in the sky, and it was a fox. It, it was an aurora in the sky, I think. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, not what I think what people usually mean when they say a foxy uh, elevator attendant. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what's the deal over here? Looks like that person. I think. There's the box. Yeah. Yeah. I guess people that's how foxes sounds. Yep. So that is what does the fox say. Yep. 
Do they have uh, many more sounds? Oh. Almost missed you. Hourglass head. Okay, we find those, we shout at them, they activate platforms. Okay. Hmm. There's the fox. Looks more like a fennec fox, I think, with the big ears. Again, foxes are often shown with oversized ears. I think. Okay, you want to show us something? No, no, I hope it just doesn't start to fly with his ears. <laughs> Where'd you run off to? Okay. Three seals. Three statues. That's two done. There's a third someone else. Uh, here it is. Also, a mural of a fox guiding someone towards the tower. Okay. Okay. Needed to activate those quickly enough. Okay. There's the box. There's the little fox. Hmm. A fox is leaving a bit of a trail, uh, trail behind whenever he runs like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Or do we need to match these up somehow or something? Let's see. We're through here. Alright. Oh. And the fox pulls a vanishing act on us. <laughs> Another boar. Or, or warthog? I don't really know what the difference is supposed to be. Really? You, are you okay with me? Now I, I've heard them. <laughs> I really don't know what this difference is supposed to you know, be between them. And okay, we can pull these around. These these look a bit like the dice or. The, from a sexy brutale, I have to say. Uh, okay. The difference between a warthog and a boar hmm. is warthog has a bit more of a bigger head. They're not as bristle hairy, but they the warthog thing is massive compared to the boars, and they have big tusks and hands and name warthog. They look like they have some warts on their uh, face. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense with that. <laughs> What does not make sense, though, is how the heck we're supposed to get out of this pit. Because we only have a, this thing to pull around. I'm not seeing anything that looks like a drain or something to cover up. There's this here. <laughs> Even the kid is confused. I think, hmm. I think warthogs are only in Africa. I think. Or the mm. boars all in everywhere else in the world. Can we the bring it over? Okay, well, make, makes sense. Like in Planet Zoo, which I've been playing a, a while recently, uh, the, you have the, the common warthog as one of the animals you can adopt on that. And yeah, the, they are set to be in uh, Africa or from Africa. Okay, seriously, I don't see what we have to do here. Yeah, do they? Oh, I don't. I can't feel like oh, both oh, are there. from the same family, like warthog and boar related, as far as I know. Probably, yeah. Okay, I, I was overthinking. I thought there would be some mechanism or maybe, but no, it's just basic platforming. Okay. <laughs> Simple as that. 
Hmm. Yeah, another gecko. And another one of these. But this time one of the pieces is too far away. So let's go bring that in closer. Actually, might as well just actually know that to be too close, I think. There, maybe? Let's see if we have to move it. Typically with this sort of puzzle, you don't actually move the stuff yourself. You just need to find the correct angle. And yeah, that needs to be a lot closer. Oh, yeah, I think I see why. You need to bring it over to that uh, icon yeah. on the floor. Yeah, I only just noticed it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it earlier. I was pondering, uh, aren't we supposed to move it there? <laughs> yeah, I was more like keeping my eyes on the other things. Okay. And it gets gently pulled into position. Always nice when you don't have to finesse stuff like that too much. There we go. Another gate. Okay. Hmm. I'd be curious if we can finish this game in this very sitting. There's probably a lot of other stuff to find, like those Kong shells and the seal things, but those are probably for extras. Actually, how would you react if you actually finished uh, this game in your showcase someday? <laughs> I'd be very amused. Also, we need to open it up to get this through, I'm guessing. I would probably be amused, but then also it will depend how much was paid for it. <laughs> yeah, probably not that much. Let's see, we need to get a skull on that. And what is this here? Okay. Turns that around. Hmm. Why do we have why do we have the feeling that we're going to need to line up that gate to the keyhole over there somehow? Or there's going there's probably going to be a link of sorts between that. Let's see. Are those in position already? Or actually hold on a sec. No, we can't move that. Hmm. Do we need to get what? that off of that somehow? It, it has icons, so... I'm oh, taking wait. a guess oh, here. Man. I'm going to guess that if we put this here and then look at that through the viewfinder thing, that uh, it'll get latched on to the uh, standards. Or the, the movable one. Let's have a look. Yep, and now they're one piece. What okay. sorcery is this? <laughs> hmm. And looking at the timer, we're not going to be able to finish this because we have less than two minutes. <laughs> hmm. I am curious about this, and we have had no real complaints about Tequila Works games so far. Yep. Where did you come from? Then, then again, Magic Fox that came from a statue. Hmm, and there is... There's the journey person again. I guess that, that is how I'm going to call them, because they have the same red cloak. Or a similar red cloak. Hmm. Let's go take a look and then call it. Because I am now getting very curious about all of this. Hmm. I'm guessing from the fact that our character has a... Well, a much shorter cloak... That there is some connection between them and the, the same people from this. Yeah. Okay, it reacts. A king, or no? It, I just, I just accidentally timed it in time <laughs> to flashing. Okay. 
Hmm. The king flashes very brightly, but the others not so much. Does that mean that they are a lot less powerful with whatever ability that may possess? Or does that mean that they are not alive? Hello. Okay. A key. And I'm guessing it goes into here. Alright, that was it. For Shield Sunday stream? I can say yes. Hmm. And there's yet more of these. Okay, I'm definitely curious about this game. And we can probably put it on a... On the weekend. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, for now though... Yeah, I'm... I'm presuming it... Yeah, it said load last checkpoint or something there, so no, nothing lost. Okay. Next game is, well, <laughs> RimWorld. Does this game really need explanation? <laughs> I have the feeling that we have showcased this game before, and if so, then, well, we'll have another look at it. I, I'm not sure we have. I know we talked about it, and I ask, would it really be possible to showcase it within 30 minutes? Hmm. <clears throat> At the very least, we can try out the tutorial and see how that goes. And yeah, Rimworld, as, the, as described, a story generator by Tynan Sylvester. Basically, this game could simplestly... You know, the simplest way to describe this game would be like a dwarf fortress, but in space. Or not really much in space, a more an alien planet where... Uh, actually, in, in dwarf fortress, you get to generate your worlds as well. But yeah, very Dwarf Fortress-like, but with a lot more, or at least compared to the pre-Steam version, a lot more uh, user-friendliness in the con what everything does and such. Okay, let's go to the tutorial. <clears throat> let's see, this page configures how your world sh uh, should be generated. Default settings are here are good. Go ahead and click Generate. Okay. Uh, you can give prisoners as gifts. Giving a prisoner back... Okay. <laughs> Here you choose your starting site. Click a temperate for uh, wrist, light green, with no brown hills, then click next. Optionally, you can use the terrain tab to view information about the selected tile. It's pointing towards this one, I'm guessing. Or... I should clarify. The names you see on the map are random. Yeah. There's a lot of random generation here. And... <laughs> what the heck? Blue Iguana Mountain, Sordine Elbow Plateau, Tall <laughs> Crocodile Ranch. Yeah, range. <laughs> An awesome woodland. Range. Yeah. <laughs> the heck? Yeah. Braco Mountains, Edisaran <laughs> Rainforest. <laughs> Green Forest Shrub. Okay. Let's see. Now you choose which characters you want to use. Drag a character from the left behind uh, parts of the character list. Okay. It moves away if you try to hover over it. Um, mm -hmm. Into the selected part at the top. Optionally, clicking a character will allow you to inspect him or her. Okay. You can bring only three characters at the start here. So you typically want to have a good range of people. Uh, let's see. We have one with high intellectual. And a, a, a strong passion on that, I believe. I think that's what the flames mean. Meaning that they learn in that a lot faster. And then we have two fighters and a social one. Uh, a human computer, corporate manager, and a computer geek. And then we oh, have a doomsday pariah, who is a good crafter. A computer engineer who is an even better crafter and even more intellectual. Absolutely. This game has a lot of mods. When I got this game, there was new DLCs and I used it quite a lot. And suddenly, the first DLC arrived. And the, this game had already been out for many years. Yeah. So for people, the, many people, the DLC came up nowhere and it broke many mods. 
Let's see, they have a relationship to someone here. So I'm not Nystrom. seeing them amongst these. Eric Nystrom? <laughs> That's so Scandinavian. <laughs> Okay, then we have a character here who's starting with a gunshot wound. Uh, one with an addiction. Is something you need to keep an eye on. Okay, that's a, a big one. <laughs> a big birda who is good with shooting and melee. And a herbalist who is good at mining. Uh, but has a bad back. Okay, just slower to move stuff. Uh, slower to move, slower to manipulate things. Also incapable of intellectual and crafting. Let's see. I think we'd want at least one person who is who is high in intellectual, one in plants, because well, we will have to grow food, and at least one person who is decent at fighting. So let's go with this. Uh, no, please click the randomize button to randomize the character. Let's randomize one of these then. If some, if you don't have a good character. Or if you want to put more randomization into things. And yeah, let's see. Great. Reorder and randomize more if you want, but don't try to get the perfect characters. Everyone has flaws and it makes the story more interesting. You can also rename the character by left clicking their names. So. Okay, it, it goes. It seems to. Hmm. Yeah, the identifier. Okay. So this is what it shows here. A nickname of sorts. Okay, let's start though. And yeah, there are three expansions and just a fuck ton of mods that you could get. Let's see. The three of you awake in your cryo sheep, sar uh, cryo sheep, cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded ship and starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, here you are on the surface. Now try moving the camera around. Yeah, arrow keys work as well. Let's see. Mouse wheel and page up and down. Pause time with space. Oh, you're still with a pet walk. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Venus. <laughs> Speed up time. One, two, three. Okay, now make a stockpile. Select architect tab. Zone. Stockpile, okay. Best to get all of this junk into one place. Okay, to allow your colonists to bring your items to the stockpile, you must move the items forbidden designation. Clicking your starting items, uh, click, uh, click the allow toggle. There. F for shortcut. There. Uh, you can grab all of them at once. Uh, let's see, pro tip, double click. Okay, all of those of the same type. Okay, there. Um, hmm. Woods. There this is. More stones, or no, steel. Okay. Okay. Select architect, structure, and wall. Okay, woods. Okay, just that pops up when you click on that. And we just build a wall around the stockpile so nothing should be able to click. Nothing should be able to just go in and steal stuff. Okay, your colonists will now build the room. Now they need somewhere to sleep. Uh, place three beds inside the room. Furniture. Beds. Woods. One, two, three. Lonzo wants some light inside, or colors will get grumpy in the dark. Torch lamp. Right there. So your pet will sleep inside with you. Place an animal uh, sleeping spot inside the room. Okay. Do I think a lot of times animals will still prefer to uh, sleep on the beds, from what I've seen at least. Okay. I've never seen that happen. I've only seen sleeping in animal beds. Recreation bin, or back. Recreation spots there. The house is being built. Your colonists need something to eat, so place a grown zone. The trousers on the ground. Put off the trousers. <laughs> okay, you can decide what plants your colonists should sow in the growing zone. Right click to exit, click to select, and plant selector. Let's see. 
the moment it's set for potato plants, change it to rice. Rice is a very good thing, I believe. There. Okay. If you can't equip the uh, starting weapons, to equip them, click to select them. Okay. Who is our fighter again? Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess Skippy is going to become the fighter then. Or, let's see. Right click the weapon you want to equip. Equip that. Okay, do this for each. Okay. You get the pistol or revolver. And you're just stuck with a knife. <laughs> okay, now you need to make a stove to cook foods. Build a fueled stove. There. Okay, we need steel for that. Not enough stored. Okay, they will get that once they've grabbed up enough of it. Oop, I accidentally paused the game. Colonists need to be told what to cook. Cooking orders are added to the stove itself. Once the bill has been created, colonists will do the work automatically. Okay, add bill. Uh, oh, it needs to be built first. Okay. I doubt we would stream this, but I think if we would, we could do, if we ever do it, we could do um, uh, YouTube videos where we could out most of the uh, boarding parts. True. Hmm. For now, though, we can speed this up so we will get, well, working and get the steel to make the thing so we can actually progress. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? This is a good game. Oh yeah, it, it is a good game. Just not our typical think, style. Yeah, it doesn't fit our style, sadly enough. Yeah, maybe <laughs> on Sunday evenings or something for chill streams, but we have already a big ass <laughs> a backload of that. <laughs> Wait, reward a shit. That's sh a shame. <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny. <laughs> you, you'll be sarcastic, right? Off. What have we here? Some sort of... Okay. Yeah, everything is randomly generated, even where you start and such. And... Let's see, I think this is probably a, a pretty good spot, as the spot to start. But I'm pretty, okay, I'm getting the feeling these are mausoleums of sorts. But I think in general you want more stone and such, so you can actually dig into somewhere. Because that's... Uh this is nice and open for growing stuff, but it's also nice and open for invaders to come, which will eventually come. Yeah, there are all issues with the sleeping in the uh, in case, since uh, most people will need to have the undergrounder uh, trait to be able to be comfortable on ground. Yeah. Why are you not sleeping in the bed? Uh, they are cutting our tree. Okay, so they're a night hawk or night owl. Okay, but yeah, each of the colonists will have needs for foods, entertainment, sleep, and such. And well, if they don't, those needs don't get met, they get grumpy. And when they get grumpy, well, you know how things can go in Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, this can get on a night. I like this game, but I had to play with mod for this one, for... There has been moments where... It quickly goes haywire in this early on. Okay, is one of you nutcases going to grab the steel needed for this? Or... Wait, is it already done? Wait... It's, I'm not seeing any add bill it's thing. Not done. Uh, what okay, crafting is... level comment does it require? No clue. A work left 34, so it still needs to be worked on. But why is no why are none of you nutbags doing anything with it? You may need to do a priority and you even need to see how many of them can even craft it. Now, at least one of them should it was high in crafting, I believe. Oh. Okay, they're roofing the place now. Uh, okay, they're they're prioritizing the house at the moment. 
Yeah, except the other two. The other two are just wandering about. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, we have steel here. Are they just not going to build it unless it's in a completed building or something? Up oh, there we go. Up. Okay, I'm guessing you are the, the best crafter we have at the moment or something. Okay. No. Uh, where was it? Open the bills tab. Up oh, there. Okay, add bill. Uh, simple meal. Uh, ta -ta -ta, plus to increase the count to 10. There. Okay, now your colonists will cook some food. Tasty. Next, you want to mine some minerals. I've spawned some animal steel nearby, uh, near your base. Select the mine designator. Architects, orders, mine. Yep, <laughs> spawned it right there. Okay. You'll want to harvest some wood. Designate some trees to be chopped. Might as well do those right next to the house. Okay, you can control which colonist does what kind of work. Open the work tab. Okay, this is all they will do. <clears throat> Try and change them setting is now. Beware, colonists always follow their work priorities, even if it makes them do dumb things. Setting up a smart work regimen <clears throat> is an important skill in Brim World. So set the. Uh, uh, but didn't, yeah, I forgot to start the timer on this, so that's my dumb thing with this. But yeah. As you can see, things can be quite complicated with this, and this is just starting early. Of course, there will be research later on and such to get even more advanced things. And just the AI director can also just screw you over if you get unlucky. Uh, let's see. Do we have someone who has multiple things? We can't look at the other... Th we can't look at what they're good at right now, so let's just... Click some of these to get it to move. Okay, research bench. Production, simple research. I believe you can flip these around somehow, but uh, let's just do it like uh, this. Oh uh, yeah, Q and E. Okay. It, research. You said that it's okay. How you turn them out, around? Tree sewing, that will be pretty good. Okay, now you choose what you want to research, you know, what you want to be researched first. You might want to wait for the research bench to be constructed or for trees to be chopped for wood. If it takes too long, use the work tab to assign more colonists to construct. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at that. Construct, construct. Uh, there. Okay, you can do that as well, Skippy, so get to it. And yeah, everything in green is what is already known. Typically, you start with only, well, a few basic things, I believe. And let's put that to researching so, well, they can <clears throat> they can get uh, a more constant uh, source of woods instead of just deforesting the entire area. Oops, someone's up. Okay. But, yeah, th this game can get pretty complex. Expand the home area. Okay, yeah, well, clean fun, floors. Like, mm -hmm. I found most of the time, the most funniest part is when I read the combat logs. <laughs> because it can be absolute insanity and such. Yeah. And of course, when I name the colonies of their uh, friends and their characters in roleplay games and whatnot, that's just sure that's the moment that it goes to the most insane. Yeah, similar with XCOM and such. Yeah. I think I forgot. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was my other computer or something. Where I had a lot of screenshots. I probably also had on this computer of uh, whenever I had Helion as a character. Um, bloody heck! It has been inside that I don't even dare to name a character Helion in real world anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that should probably speak for itself, the chaos. Okay, let's do at least this bit of uh, this last bit, and then we'll move on to the next game. Now, if sent to attack your colony, pause the game by hitting space, read the red letters in the bottom right of the corn... Uh, yep, yeah, bottom right of the screen. Yep. Raid by the awesome crew. <laughs> okay. Uh, draft your colonists by selecting them and hitting the draft commands. R... You're already 
craft it. You as well. Okay. Uh, right click to send them to positions behind in the sandbag square. There, there, and there. And on pause. Colonists must be okay. touching cover to benefit from it. Okay. Here's a criticism. Like, they will auto fire. Fire at will. Just fine. However, if they have melee weapons, they will only use them if anyone, someone attacks them first or if you tell them to attack first. And yeah, whether they actually can get a hit with it depends on their skill, the quality of the weapon, and just basic luck as well. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And like, Nitro I don't is think dying. So that you don't need to, like, just currently, I feel like, like if you have played Green World, the only ones that be elite, you would need to micromanage <laughs> in fighting will be the ones with ranged weapons. Drews with melee? Yeah, those you're gonna need to micromanage a lot of. <laughs> Yeah, from what I've seen, most people just build walls and walls of turrets in choke points. And that's actually the end of the tutorial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, let's head on out and move on to game number five. Oh, uh, uh, cloud error with <clears throat> Rimwald. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's gone wrong. Okay, the game has. Yep. Okay, the game is not liking borderless gaming. At all. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh... Okay. <laughs> um... Um... Let me. What the heck? L look under us, Hill. Oh, wait. Um... What happened to me and you? Yeah, I think... Uh, is the game causing OBS to glitch or something? It, yeah. I see some Discord even over there. Uh, under the... Chat... Uh, the, the followers. Let's see. Okay, there somehow... The, somehow the preview window got... First sized wrong or something. Let's try that again. Uh, so maybe I should turn off borderless gaming for this. Let's let's see if that happens again. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's behaving again. Do only on the game this time, not not us. Yeah, it's it's not liking. <laughs> yeah, it, it is definitely not liking borderless gaming. Okay. Uh, okay. No. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's Borderless Gaming that is doing that, so give me a second on that. Uh, I get with risk. I get the feeling that we've showcased Risk of Rain as well at some point. I don't, um, think, I don't, hmm? think, I, I don't remember anything, anything about Risk of Rain. Hmm. I want to know but, it by name. Uh, so give me a second then, just turning this display off for the moment, so I can work on borderless gaming, show, uh, let's see, I, it didn't do that before, but then again, I wasn't running OBS during that, okay, so there, start the game up again, and add it as a gameplay source, let's see, gameplay, change this one over, there, now it should start capturing. Any second. Yep, all right. Okay. Yep. And I accidentally clicked the game off as I clicked back in. Okay. Turning this back on. Fourth time the charm. Um. I don't think you put it the uh, right. There we but go. There I go. <clears throat> Yeah, the display uh, capture was overlaid over it. Welp.
the heck? Uh, yeah. I think the risk of rain that it means of is risk of uh, stuff raining down from the sky after a ship goes bluey. Okay. Uh, yeah, this game is... Uh, how to really describe it? I think a roguelike is very much akin to it. We can get, we can choose a character, and as you can see, I have not gotten much far, not far in this game ever. Let's see. The commando is characterized by long range and mobility. Effective use of his tactical dive will grant increased survivability, while suppressive fire deals massive damage. FMG can then be used to dispose of large mobs. Okay. Double tap for metal jacket to shoot straight through. Okay. Knocking him back. Roll forward a small distance, can't be hit while rolling, and suppress a fire. Fire rapid, stunning, and hitting, uh, hitting nearby enemies for a lot of damage. Okay, we have a... <clears throat> we have the difficulties here. Drizzle, reduce difficulties for players new to the game. Weeping and gnashing is replaced by laughter and tickles. Progress is not saved in this mode. Rainstorm. The way the game is meant to be played, touch your abilities and skills against formidable foes, and monsoon for hardcore players. Every bend and bruise is pain and horrors of the planets, you will die. So let's just go normal. These are oh, uh, these artifacts here, I think they got added at a certain point. Uh, they and uh, they introduce <clears throat> they introduce gameplay modifiers and such. For now. Okay. ZX C V, okay. Uh, uh, Arrows. Okay. And yeah, basically what we have to do is survive and get out of this place by killing mobs. And, well, finding the exits, beating bosses. But the thing is, the longer that we stay in a... The longer that we stay, the, strong, the higher the difficulty goes. Because you can see in the upper right, there's a timer and a difficulty marker. And yeah, the longer oh. you take, the higher those go. So yeah, you have to make a balance between, well, killing stuff, getting money, getting upgrades, and well, actually moving forward, because sooner or later, you are going to get overwhelmed. Which is why I've never... In, why, oh, I've, yeah. why I've never been able to get far in this game. Yeah, oh, obviously... That I haven't seen anything with game, but I have seen a bit of game below Risk of Rain 2. Yeah, which is in 3D. Yeah. Also, a little fact, if I remember correctly, the the composer for the music of this game is the same one as Deadbolt. And yeah, we can oh, activate right. this teleporter, but, well, we need to survive until it activates. Oh. Uh -oh. And it also summons a boss. So, yeah. Wandering Vagrant. Yento Protector. Um. Yento Protector? Oh. Oh! I just don't realize how big the hill floor is. Yeah. And where our shots are only dealing like 8 damage per second each time. So, uh... I will say this, they did the hill floor up, up there a bit too big. It's too big that they didn't realize it was a hill floor. Also just the sheer amount of mobs that are spawning here. Oh dear. And dead. <laughs> Did it reset everything or something, or did I... Hmm. Yeah, let's try again. Okay, yeah. We'll, we need to get uh, those boxes open so we can actually get upgrades and such for more damage, uh, just more health, all sorts of effects. Ooh. Because, yeah, we start off with absolutely pitiful attacks and even then well you're going to need a lot of luck to even get good stuff because as a roguelite 
roguelike. I'm not sure which of the two is more fitting. Uh, everything is going to be random in what you get and such. Oh dear. Yes, this also be classified as on game, but not for stream. Yeah. Yeah. So we just can't get to that. Yeah, I personally wouldn't put this as something I would personally enjoy. But yeah, it is liked a lot. Let's see. Chance of rewards, and we got nothing. Yeah, of course. In the meantime, it doesn't. Hmm. I don't know if monsters are sp supposed to spawn around us, or if we are more to hunt them down now. There. The level ups, I don't know exactly what those specifically do, but, but I can just guess that they do the typical stuff of giving you more health, which, well, the health bar has expanded, and maybe more damage? Let's see. Gain gold over time. Okay. Nice if you could stay alive long enough. And, well, we saw how that went with me. Yeah. Okay, experience. Actually, I think that the spawn rate depends on how high the difficulty goes. So, yeah, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, and yet you get money from killing mobs, but the more mo you, for them to spawn, you need to wait for the difficulty to go up. Okay. Oh! Almost crabs! A crab that just became legs and mouth. Wonderful! <laughs> Not nightmare for you at all. Actually, yes, it is very nightmare for you. Well, it's a test again. It's a very big nightmare for you with the many people yeah. here, right? Like, uh, I guess okay. that was not so testing. Okay, okay rapidly heal outside of combat. Not that that's going to happen much as the difficulty goes up. I think one of the issues I have with this is that I just do not like the control scheme as is, so probably should be using a controller instead. Shooting both ways there. Okay. Right, let's finish these two off. And let's grab these boxes here. Hello, Ron. Yep, hey, Ron. Opening. Opening a chest launches fireworks at nearby enemies. <laughs> How are you doing? Tired. Okay. And hello there, Marco. And yes, this is the original Risk of Rain, which recently got a remaster, I believe. Risk of Rain Returns or something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go Let's go try that boss again. Uh, where was the... There's not really a map that we can see to keep an eye on things, but I think it was this way. Uh, let's see. Now we got a DLC, I believe. Uh, this one has been renamed to Risk of Rain 2013, so I think it is... Oh, okay, different boss. I lost this. It is a new... <laughs> but yeah, we're just showcasing it for Showcase Sunday, and it looks like the... it's not even going to be the boss that does me in this time. Yeah, I, I think I originally played this game... With, is it summoning new things? I think I originally played this game before I had the con controller. I probably should have put, used those... Yeah, used one for this anyways. But yeah, this would probably be a lot, mo a lot more easy, you know, a lot more controllable with, well, a good controller. It's yeah. a 
Uh, I would personally disagree, I think, <laughs> seeing as I never got, well, anywhere in this game. That or, uh, no, when you find it's private control, you can really need more. <laughs> Okay, at least let's try and survive this. Yeah, we're getting a good amount of gold at the very least with this. Though I think I should probably try and kill the big one up here. Oh, oh no, he's he's been summoning smaller guys. And it's open! And now you have to kill all of them. Use it, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so much for just surviving and sneaking through that thing. Okay. Yeah, this... I just do not like the, the sheer difficulty. This is supposed to be uneasy with this. So... Yeah. I just do not like it. No, Nothing against people who enjoy this series at all. But... Yeah. I'd rather play a game to, well, enjoy it. Not to get punished. Also, why I don't play Dark Souls. So, yeah. yeah. Let's see. We uh, have time for one more. Moving on to another roguelike. Though this one is a lot more stomachable, if you ask me. What the... so, Let me just activate the controller ahead of time this time. I my computer to my phone. But I'm loyal only, only to my... Only to myself. <laughs> really? Yep. Okay, cellar door games. Okay. Oh, well, he just runs. I love how he just runs in such a way that's like charge with his sword <laughs> upward. Yeah, I was just told to comment on that. Come on! Kind of like the alien in most survival games we play together. Who's <laughs> first into the, the, the fray? Well, someone has to. <laughs> Okay, down and tap to drop. Hmm. Ah. There. Attack those, or down attack those to open up the platforms. And just keep smashing everything for every little piece of gold that we can find, huh? And you skip a lot. <laughs> I have to kill the king, I guess. Rude yeah. <laughs> oh, I think I see one of the other games. Like, there's more than one, ain't it? Uh, well, this one, is also counts, this one also counts as a roguelike. But the others, not so much. Well, I guess Rimworld could partially count as one. Let's see. Journal entry one. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailments. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Okay. And yeah, as is a roguelike, that map is going to change every time. Oh god, yeah, I have I've seen someone play one of the sequels to this game. Yeah, the, there, there is a rogue legacy too, yeah? Okay. okay, those shots don't go through barriers. But sadly enough, there is contact damage, which is something I... I generally dislike. I'm 50 50 on combat damage. It, as long as it makes sense, like, if you run into a, something that is basically a hedgehog, then yes, contact damage would hurt. You run into a fire elemental, yes, you will get burnt. Yeah. And but this will happen Rom, a lot. Yeah, but, uh, but for example, if you agree, I, I run into ROM, it would be weird for me to get contact damage. Unless it was at I mean, uh, Mac 5. I mean, to be fair, if you run into me, you kind of can get contact damage by crashing into me. 
True. Uh, depends on, in, in, on which speed I run into you and what you're wearing. <laughs> but yeah, this is where the legacy part of Rogue Legacy comes into play, because once our character dies, uh, we get to choose one of their heirs to continue the fight on with. So we have Lady Lithner, the Knave, the, the, the Knave, a risky hero, low stats, but can land devastating physical strikes. No traits, and she has the Quantum Translocator spell. Drops and teleports to your shadow. Okay. We have Sir Gans, who is a mage. Uh, we have Caprolalia, <laughs> and is nearsighted. And the spell is Conflux. Launches orbs that bounce everywhere. And Lady Gwendolyn, who is a knight, your standard hero, pretty good at everything. Uh, they're bald, and they're covering it up with a helmet. And they also have Conflux. I think this will be the most interesting one. Wait, the ball, ball and beautiful? What? <laughs> uh, Marco oh. says don't pick Gans, so we're picking Gans. <laughs> okay, and every rogue light is to have, a, well, an actual place where you get permanent progression, and that is where we spend the gold that we find in the castle. So oh, we unlock the smithy. Pat loot. <laughs> The backsmith can feed. With PH8. Yep. Oh, they spell it in slang. <laughs> yep. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritable, virtuous, uh, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted arrangements, you know, the armaments for your uh, <laughs> armory. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, okay. forget, uh, Roth, are you available later for some uh, Le Noir? I think so, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Let's see. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. <laughs> and a prize, of course. <laughs> okay. Now they have some basic stuff. These are also permanent upgrades that you can get. But, well, we have to be able to afford it first. And the thing with the money is, <laughs> is that, well, when we want to enter, we need to pay Charon. One must pay the toll. Yeah, give all of your money and enter the castle. This is something that I got absolutely stuck on with this game because I got to a point where I couldn't get enough money to get any more upgrades. And well, since he takes all of it, let's see. That feels so bullshit. And apparently Marco is a veteran at this game at 60 hours. Okay. I'm not sure that makes them a veteran. Yeah, technically the term veteran is for people who have survived in action or combat, I believe. So. <laughs> okay, and is any good uh, roguelike, we need to find bosses and kill them to gain progress past the big scary door at the entrance. Oh, drug swearing? That's a sight to behold. <laughs> Yeah, I really swear, but maybe swear at a person. <laughs> Sir Gans has been slain by a chariot, and those were their parting words, which have been censored for posterity's sake. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Lady Gwendolyn the Knave. Uh, Ectomorph, you're skinny, so every hit sends you flying. And they have the Translocator spell. Lady Joanne, the Barbarian, a walking tank, this hero can take a beating. You have random muscle spasms. Not sure what that means in gameplay. I think that might be mean that they're difficult to control. And they, well, have a spell that fires a dagger. Lady Bordeaux. Is knights, no traits, and they can throw a big axe. Let's try this one out. Okay, and we have enough money to unlock either of these. Let's get some more health. Let's see. Means you get stopped at random times. Okay. Oh, that sounds... 
Yeah, yeah, we need a good amount of money to unlock any of those. Upwards! There we go. Okay, and yeah, we need to beat four bosses to get access to the fifth, I'm guessing, from that. Or maybe we need to beat five to get there. But oh well. In the meantime... Yeah. yeah, lots of health, a lot less mana, I think. Yeah. Okay, what was that rumbling? Mana does not regenerate, or at least not with most. Yeah, there's probably going to be an upgrade that we can get where we get health regen and mana regen at some point or another. And yeah, we, we just need to put our face to the <laughs> to the grinder and try and get as far as we can before dying and trying all over again. Okay, seriously, what was what's with that rumbling? What rumbling? Take no damage. Okay. Oh wait, this. There's no cover, so this, that is literally impossible for us. Let's see. There's okay. armor that lets there you regenerate. A... Okay, but... At a great cost. At what cost? It is very unit in health the mana. Probably lowered uh, of either. Or just Maybe really or freaking pricey. Oh, yeah. Okay. And yeah, as we mentioned, there is a sequel of this game out now, which, from what I've heard, is actually just plain old better in every single way. Or at least most ways. Oh, traps. Oh, big boy there. Gradiator, really? Okay, those eyeballs are probably going to be some of our biggest enemies since they can shoot in any direction. And, okay, only now I just noticed the, the challenge to opening this place up. We're opening the chest. And, uh... <laughs> If you fail a fairy chest uh, if you fail a fairy chest room, the architect can give you a second chance. Okay. Now, who do we have next? Sir Lancelot the Mage. Eidetic memory. You remember things with extreme clarity. Powerful spellcaster. Each every kill gives you mana. Okay. Uh, ectomorph, skinny, and the sight spell. Sir Darwin, the knight, hypergonadism, your, your permaroided attacks knock enemies uh, further, okay. And throws a chakra that comes back, Lady Charlotte, knight, bolt, ectomorph, and sight spell. Let's go with this guy then. And let's see, upgrade knights, turn your knights into paladins, a ferocious forefront fight, uh, uh, turn... Press Y to block all incoming damage. Okay, that would be really Thank that you. would be really useful for those uh, no damage rooms. You can afford. Yeah. And I think oh, I can do one at a time. Let's see. Upgrade your carry equipment will allow you to wear better and heavier armor. Okay, I forgot that that was a thing in this game. And let's but see. There was more clothes you could take. Yeah, but we can also get these here. Let's uh, see. No. 150 oh, for wait. more health. Let's All right. See. Okay. And 200 just... and 250 for those. Okay. See it. Yeah, we get to see it. <laughs> Go on the helm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Marco oh, says that the Paladin is their favorite. Okay. And yes. So you, so you need to uh, slowly but surely 
just work your way until you're better equipped and just better skilled at this game before you can actually, well, get to the end of it. Which a lot of people enjoy, but for me it can depend per game and such. Because some games are a lot more fair with it than others. The Risk of Rain, I would say, is very unfair with it. Oh, uh, this one is fair or not. And let's see, I'm pretty sure I only managed to ever beat the first boss in this game. And no more beyond that. Surprise zombie. And yeah, hit and run tactics are probably just the best to use in this type of game ever. Oh, hello. Journal entry 2. Although I'm the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find a cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass, but I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find a cure, collect my rewards. Okay... Almost caught me off guard there, and that really <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did not expect to find that here. It, uh, oh, come. A visionary who does a fuck ton of damage. Well, there we go. Okay, all classes That's can be upgraded with unique abilities. Wait, oh no. Are you <laughs> Sir Dorwin. <laughs> yeah, let's see, Marco. The journal entries are randomized, so you have some luck that you found the second entry and not the later ones. Okay. Let's see. Lady Shinoa, Paladin, uh, guard, Guardian Seals. <laughs> you like the ladies. Okay. Send Sights. Sir Hershey, a Barbarian, No Traits, and the Chakram. Lady Antoinette, Paladin Gigantism, you were born to be a basketball player. OCD, must clean house, break stuff to restore MP. <laughs> okay, some uh, of these traits are worse in full, but some like, likely... In this game, I will show what this, this means in context of this game. Like, is this just a random thing? It's or random does it thing mean with... something special here? Yeah, it's random things that can have positive, negatives, or uh, just not mean anything at all. And just because of the name of a certain Castlevania game that I have planned to stream eventually, we're going with Shinoa. Uh, here. Let's see. We can't afford any new armor or equipment, so there that goes. Okay. And... Mm. Oh, she looks adorable. <laughs> a little bow on our helmet. <laughs> what? That was... I think that bow... Yes, bow! <laughs> yep. Also, I think that helmet would work better if she were to close it. No, no. Well, if you're lucky, we may find her a uh, princess. <laughs> Let's see, there's no need to kill every monster in every room, except for the gold, perhaps. Okay, those get shot off in a forward and upward arc. And we get the squire chest blueprint. Okay. And that's a dead end. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 I don't think too many roguelites use, uh, it, uh, ow, use down attacks for platforms and such, or at least not to my knowledge. If you, I think. Like, like, Ducktails? 
only really one example. True. So the auto attacks there is a down the bounce over cane attack. Yeah, that, that's the main informative attack. So. <laughs> yep. yep. Wrong button. Okay. Yeah, it could just be that I'm too impatient for this game. Oh, really? Yeah, nope. Yep. Yep. Oh, hello. Big in. Are these bosses? The mini boss. Uh, and yeah, guarding takes Aww. mana. And well, Mary. runes are very powerful. Equip runes at the enchantress, but don't forget and don't forget to use them. Oh, okay. Horror. Sir Wallace the mage, Lady Viola the knave. <laughs> the the Gent is a knave, and Sir Maeus the mage. With PAD, peripheral arterial disease, no footfalls. Oh wait, I remember. I think, I think this is a bit of a hidden one, but uh, I believe character. This is just a completely random thing I remember. But I think characters with this trait don't set off the floor traps. <clears throat> Let's see, Marco. The classes are real fun in this game, and their skills might help you in fairy chest rooms. But different stats will always make it difficult. Yeah. Let's try this out, see what it actually is what I think it is. Also, we can afford some upgrades. Uh, 350 to unlock, square limbs there. Okay, and I don't think we can do much with 60. Yeah, 90, 170, 90. Okay, <laughs> according to Marco, I am correct on that. Charge! <laughs> uh, actually, no need for me to grab those, but I will. I, I am kind of curious on this game. Uh, it is overall a good game, but I'm not too sure how good I would actually be at it, since I've already lost like half my health in the first bloody room. Yeah. Okay. I do like the traces and all that. I think were, <laughs> some of them do confuse me, me what they mean. Look, in this case, where his foot doesn't really trapped, okay, that makes sense. But then there some that I just went, okay, I need context. And there we go, already. Yeah, mages have low health, but high mana. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, um. Lady Lena with vertigo and tunnel vision. Sir Ega's the knave, stereo blinds and vaults. You can't see in 3D. Not that that matters much since, well, this is a 2D game. Okay, here's one of the example. Gold. And what does it, it, is it that just a do. random non-functional trait or does it have a function? I think it has none fun no function. But I'm pretty sure with this one, ADHD, that it does make you move faster. Also just for the fun of it. And we hardly got any one thing out of that. Uh might as well. Yeah, yeah, the more of these you unlock, the more of use these you put into, the more other stuff you unlock, like the architect here and the enchantress. And yeah, this is what Vertigo does. Oh, good God. But apparently that's his second... That is Apparently oh, that's Marco's oh. second favorite <laughs> of traits. Okay. I hate this. Okay, you gotta admit though, it takes uh, it takes some guts to put in stuff like this just for the random shit of it. Yeah. 
So it does make it rather difficult to read out how much health we have. I just will. We have a bearded lady knight. Yep. Come in, Brian. Yeah. We have a bearded lady. Uh, let's see. The heck does that say? Oh, wait, it's also backwards. Uh. Oh. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah. <laughs> Who I might cut that out and flip it that. on the recording. <laughs> uh, I'll actually need to, make, need to make a bit of a time note on that. One, five, four. Uh, yeah, just... I think we can do a few more runs with this. In, uh, let's see, how far is... Okay, yeah, one more run or so, four oh, minutes about. Come on! Yep. <laughs> we have real trouble reading things. Uh, eidetic memory. I think with this, it just means that anything you spot on the map in a room will stay on the map. And uh, if Lady Fair is the paladin. Just uh, permaroided with more knockback. The one. There is no spork. Okay, I'm guessing that's another non one that does nothing. It's Blade a wall. weird reference to Matrix. And of course. Let's see, yeah, we, we made no money at all during that. Of course. We didn't. Oh, what's... Oh, God. Okay, so this is... I do worry it might be a bit... Light for taste? A bit, maybe. But for now... <clears throat> yep, yep, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that ranged enemies are going to be the absolute bane of your existence for most of this game. Luckily, they don't have much experience, at least at the start. Yep, oh, oh, come on, freaking... Yes, it is. One thing I feel like the Enli must to have with this as a skill game is we do get some permanent upgrades. Yeah. The ma the chaos though, that's a permanent as well. Yeah. But at least with this game, things will after a while get easier. <laughs> and retaliation rune. Okay. Uh, let's see, Marco. It hurts your head a bit, but it's still fun. It said something uh, about each class having their ups and downs. Yeah. It... Oh, come on. There's also just stuff like this here. It's... Yeah, depending on what you have, are just plain impossible because we can't reach the upper you know, three there. gain some credit that those fireballs uh, typically get stopped at ledges and such, so you can get shots through walls. Yeah, so you can't get shots through most walls at least. Mm. Mm. And at least to my knowledge there isn't any time-based stop in this game. Yep. Mm. They were very clear. Yep. Very clearly in the back of our spine. Okay, mastering mobility runes makes you awesome. Okay. Lady Christine the Knave with OCD. Sir Lancelot the Paladin with IBS. Even the most valiant heroes can suffer from irritable bowels. Oh, come on. Let's try a Knave at least. And we got enough to at least get something here. Let's see. Unlock the architect and gain the power uh, to lock down the castle. Uh, let's get that. Yeah, locking down the, ca the castle means that the things won't randomly change anymore. But I don't. I think things don't actually respawn. So you'll run out of money eventually, With, or you'll run out of monsters to kill for money. I think. Hmm. 
Let's see, the enchantress can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Uh, find runes to increase your repertoire of body modifying talents. Hmm? Something up, Rom? Uh, no, just, uh, just touch the microphone. Okay. Oh, Alright. Let's see, upgrade mage. Arc to archmage. Magic damage up. Hmm. Okay, and there's the enchantress. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your, borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. If that's the time we're going off. I used to be wait, wait, used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. <laughs> at least she's honest. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, then I will sell it back to you at a profit. Sprint rune, gain the power to dash short distances. Multiple runes can stack, can stack allowing for multiple dashes. Okay. Then we have the Vault rune, which is a double jump. Okay. Retaliation rune, returns damage taken from enemies. Okay. Okay, so the, these are all the same. These are all going to be the same on each of these. But we can get multiple versions of them. Okay. And apparently we have a second spell slot up there for some reason. Let's do one more run and then we'll call it the stream for today. Not that I expect this to last any long. Uh, let's see. This enemy being ha has a pun in it, for example, Doomwas, which is canvas, but will be your doom. Yeah. Yep. Oh, there is more reason for here. I want to put this on a shield stream or something. You love puns. Don't you anyway. cat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This would have been a perfect little spot to test that foot pulse thing. Yeah. Okay, none of those are moving. Can we even make that? I don't I don't think we can make that jump. So let's not. Okay. There. And there. Of course one of these visionaries. Of course it's locked away so we can't actually kill it. Uh, yes. Some of rooms with this game can be just absolute bullshit. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, that'll be Rogue Legacy for today then. So... Uh, where even is the exit button on this? <laughs> Up there. In the... Okay. That is something I've noticed with some games that they put the exits in the options menu for some reason. But oh well. <clears throat> but yeah. That's six games tried for today. So before we head out to raid someone, uh, <clears throat> Revenge of the Titans, nice little game, but not our type of streaming, I'd say. Yeah, it's a no. Revolt, uh, also nice. Also no. nice that it's popular no. enough <laughs> to get no. fans still, but no for us streaming. Rhyme, I'm going to put as a yes. Yeah, I'm leaning yes for this one, for it can work as a shield game. Then we have RimWorld, which is, well, RimWorld. It's fun, but we may have... A pro it's a no on my end, for I don't think it works well on Twitch streaming. Yeah, and Risk of Rain, which gets my no. Yeah, my no as well. And Rogue Legacy. I don't, I'm not sure if I could ever get to the end of that game without just bashing my head against the wall for hours upon hours, so... Yeah. Hmm. It looks fun, but... Hmm. It probably... My problem is, we could probably finish it. Problem is, it would be quite a grind to be able to. Yeah, it would require me to get good. Yeah, but, okay. Maybe possible if you were off-screen grind, but... Uh... 
if it didn't, I don't know if it risk first, uh, missing out story elements. Like, have I done this as a YouTube series? Maybe? Hmm. What's as a stream? Hesitant. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we can add it to the list of uh, possible just chill stream games, even though I would probably not very, be very chill while playing it. <laughs> uh, it is more fair than Risk of Rain. Yeah. And yeah, that means next week we will definitely be showcasing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And this is how the game installs without a, uh, without a thumbnail. So I think people who know <laughs> the game will understand a thing or two about that. This game is not considered that good, if at all. And also Runers. But yeah, for now... Let's move on over to here and we go look for someone to raid. So let me move the browser and Twitch over here so I can actually see them properly. There, change window. Uh, Twitch, live. Uh, now, let's see. But what happened to uh, Rom's arm? Uh, <laughs> My arm. Uh, you'd have to ask Ron, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Not that many people online at the moment, it seems. We have Redacted Cat with Diablo 2. We have Sour Walrus with Cyberpunk 2077. Desire Azir is playing Psychonauts, but we raided them yesterday. So, it's let's later. see. Yeah, we also have Kirina Shioka with Dynasty Warriors 8. And Horatius the Dwarf with Lethal Company. <laughs> okay. From what I've heard about... Oh, Ram headed out, it seems. Yeah, he said, uh, see you guys later. Okay, I missed that. Sorry. Yeah, I was waiting for the, for you to... Uh, yeah, just waiting, just waiting for me to say, uh, be safe, Ram, but uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you for being here, Ram, and we'll see you later for LA Noir. Okay, uh, yeah, Lethal Company, from what I've uh, been... Uh, re well, what I've been seeing about it, it, it is a fun game. <laughs> Bit of like a, a mix of Deep Rock Galactic with the SCP Foundation, without the digging. Uh, to hear. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at the recommended channels, since there's just so few of these. Uh, someone just chatting, someone play uh, Dome Reaper, we've seen them recommended a few times. Playing Yakuza Dead Souls. Uh, Unicorn Dreams, who is playing Minecraft. Uh, <laughs> the title is We're Getting Ready to Lay Some Dragons. I'm, I'm hoping that's a typo. I think it's more of a reference to a very damn old D&D joke. This <laughs> I mean, so as a yoke... Oh, good God, I was probably even before I started World of Warcraft. What, that every bard will try to lay the dragon? Yeah, I think the king tells them to slay the dragon, and then bard misheard him. <laughs> and then comes the bard returns, and nine months later there's a half dragon, half human thing, and the king said, I told you to slay, not lay the dragon! Uh, Marco, can we read uh, Dr. Misunderstood? Uh, I don't get it if it's a joke. <laughs> basically, uh, yeah, basically the joke is that every bard in D&D wants to fuck dragons. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we can uh, take a look at them, but let's first continue here. We have uh, Fuba Red, who is playing Stallcraft, which is uh, like a Minecraft version of Stalker, if I recall correctly. Or Minecraft-ish stuff. I'll need to look into more how much of this, what this is. I don't know too much about it, if it's single player or multiplayer and such. We have Mixolydia playing Subnautica Below Zero. And Video Games S8 playing Breath of the Wild. Okay. And let's take a look at Dr. Misunderstood. Let's see if that will... It's, it's, uh, did I get the timing wrong? No, it's not suggesting anything. Oh, there they are. Okay, they're playing Ori and the Blind Forest. Oh, okay. I feel like I've heard that name before. <laughs> uh, I 
I think you might be thinking of Dr. Disrespect, perhaps? Who was okay, maybe, a YouTuber uh, who maybe. got... <laughs> uh, I, I think they pretty much got exiled or something for stuff, but I... But they, they, they were a Twitch streamer, I think, who got uh, kicked out for just being an asshole or something. <clears throat> but, yeah. Yeah, I think I heard of them now and then, and usually like, they try to start their own gaming console and all that not. I think you're thinking of uh, some hack musician or something there, but yeah. No, they, we read them? Apparently, apparently they also tried and failed. But mm. there are many who try and fail. Okay. Yeah. So we read uh, Dr. Misunderstood then? It seems to having a bit of a hard time uh, with Ori. Uh, I want to say yes, but wouldn't it be bad to read them at this moment? Hmm. Uh, let's just show some support to another small streamer, so, yeah. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Even though it, they all, you know, moment, I feel like what well, is a high-focus moment. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll give them the distraction they need to refocus, but, yeah. <clears throat> uh, if things go well, uh, like nothing comes up at last second or something, we should be streaming, or we should be doing a stream of L.A. Noir in about uh, 2 hours and 55 minutes. Uh, but yeah, until then, uh, yeah, thank you everyone else for watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. And let's see, nobody else really in the chats. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ram, for visiting. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And yeah, like I said, Ellen Ward later. But for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And just seagulls in general. And that too.